in this video lecture series we will see the basics of group testing we know that in the group testing there are nine tasks as shown on the left hand corner and in this task you as a candidate perform along with other candidates the maximum strength of the group can be 10 and the minimum can be 6 so there are along with you other 10 candidates who are performing in the GTO series unlike in the psychological test we are giving the entire test as a individual in isolation others presence do not affect you so let us see the basics of group testing and how does the group testing officer evaluate a candidate in context of an experimental group so basics of group testing it says group testing attempts to evaluate an individual in the context of a group now this is important the group testing is also attempting to an, uh, evaluate an individual as being done in the psychological test and in the interview the only difference is the test environment is different here you are evaluated as an individual but in context of a group that's your GTO group so it is like a group dance psychological test and interview that's like a solo dance group dance may all of your equal that's why it's called leaderless group task and here you have to perform well and emerge as a natural leader nobody is a nominated leader uh, except for the command task we you are the made the commander and you are responsible for you know creation of idea in all other tasks you are equals like any other and you have to perform and emerge as a natural leader so let's read it once again group testing attempts to evaluate individuals in context of a group this is important next is and thus to determine a candidate's ability to function in a group so what is the next thing seen is your individual ability to function in a group you may be able to perform as an individual but that's not adequate you have to perform in context of a group when subjected to a group environment that's a group dynamics gets developed whether you are able to function there or not individually you may be good but if it if you're not able to perform in a group you probably are not a suitable candidate so let's read the whole thing group testing attempts to evaluate individuals in context of a group and thus to determine a candidate's ability to function in a group so you have to develop individually to such a level that you are able to function in a group the group may be good but you may not be so the group may do well but what's your contribution that's important let's read again uh, and based on his functional capacity that is your functional capacity to ascertain his actual and potential level so GTO based on your ability to function in a group is able to is able to identify your capability to function in a group and based on that he is finding out two levels your actual or the present level performance that's your performance today in the SSB and based on that he predicts what is your potential to perform after training will you be able to reach the average officer requirement or not so the, he's taking on two levels one is the present level and he predicts the potential level so if you can raise your present level closer to the expectation your probability of getting recommended will be high because the gap you have to fill after training will start reducing so i hope you're understanding let's read this portion again and based on the candidates functional capacity so increase your functional capacity because based on that he is taking out ascertaining two levels his actual potential actual level and potential level Do level ki baat kar hai. i'll show it through a graph in the uh, uh, subsequent slides let's see what happens uh, what he says Aage. and to assess his suitability for the armed forces and based on these two level where is the present level how much is the potential for you to grow after training iske base mein 
he decides whether you're suitable for the armed forces or not. So if you can increase the present level from wherever it is to a higher level, uh, your ability to get recommended, your probability of getting recommended will increase many, many fold. So let's see it in context of you as an individual. So when you go as an individual, you are put into a group, but understand the selection of yours will depend upon your ability to function in the group. So, where in blue, your name is written, put your name and read the whole thing. I will put my name, you do that for yourself. Right? So, let me read it for you. Basics of group testing, I'll put my name. Group testing attempts to evaluate Ganesh Babu in context of a group and thus to determine Ganesh Babu's ability to function in a group and based on Ganesh Babu's functional capacity to ascertain Ganesh Babu's present that is the actual level and potential level and to assess Ganesh Babu's suitability for the armed forces. So in each of these tasks you have to observe yourself what is your present level of performance that's your ability to function in a group. If it is low you need to bridge it, bridge it upwards and if you don't bridge it your ability to function in a group will be low. That means your present level performance will be low. That means your suitability for the armed forces will go low. Thus your probability of making it through the SSB, that's GTO, will be low. So let's see it in a different context. So what do you have to do? Each task, there are nine tasks, GD, GP, PGT, GOR, HGT, lecturer, individual obstacle command task and final group task. Task wise, you have to identify your performance gap. How much is the gap in each of these tasks? For example, let's say group discussion. The expected level of performance is this, but your present level performance can be low. PLP is present level performance, ELP is expected level of performance, and this can be the gap. Now, for example, in the GD, this gap can be due to your power, poor communication skill, your pure public speaking skills, your lack of content, you don't know the current affairs, you don't know what's happening, international affairs, you don't know the national affairs, sports, defense related, you don't have confidence, you don't have public speaking skills. All these things will make sure that your gap is more. And since the gap is more, the present level performance will be low. And if your present level performance is low, your potential to grow will also be low because SSB ke inception mein hi agar aap apne aap ko built nahi kar rahe, so then how will it happen in the future? So that's similarly GP. Mein. If you don't know how to grasp the model, how to grasp the narrative, how to prioritize, how to you know, think of the solutions, you know, resource uh, uh, management, prioritization, time planning, all those things, communication, ability to function, uh, taking part in a discussion. If you don't do that, it won't happen. In PGT, mein, it is not fatabali, it is structure analysis. If you don't know how to analyze the structure, you will not be able to perform. Group obstacle is a physical task. So if you're not physically fit, all those six obstacles, you will be a liability on the group and the group aapko dhakka marega. Half group task again is structure analysis. Lecture it mein, public speaking, content chahiye and uh, aapka confidence chahiye to stand in front of a group and speak. Individual obstacle is again individual task at a physical level. And a command task is individual level pay structure analysis where you are the boss and you have to come out with the solutions and final group task again is a structure. So in sabi task mein aapko pata chalna chahiye where is your gap and you should also have a strategy how to fill this gap. Unless you identify this gap and fill this gap, this your present level performance will remain low. And if your present level performance is low, that means your ability to function in a group is low. That means your probability of Becoming an acceptable profile officer even after training will be very low because jab SSB ke interview ke time pe aap apne aap ko build nahi kar rahe to subsequently bhi nahi karoge because aapke andar wo drive missing ho jayega so sawal ye tha how to fill this gap sawal ye tha how to increase your functional capacity to do this you need to have three things you should know three things one is the knowledge first component is the knowledge what to change why to change and what are the consequences if you don't change? Matlab, wo gap. Wo gap kya hai? It is the diagnostic step. Hai na? Ki mere andar kahan kahan pe weakness hai, kahan kahan pe kami hai. Task wise. 
इट्स नॉट ओनली ए टास्क है दैट्स अ टेस्टिंग टूल इन जनरल मेरे पर्सनैलिटी में डेफिशंसी कहाँ पे है सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज द नॉलेज ज्ञान वॉट टू चेंज वाई टू चेंज एंड वॉट आर द कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस इफ यू डोंट चेंज ये पर्सनैलिटी के लेवल पे भी चाहिए और टास्क के लेवल पे भी चाहिए सेकेंड इज द स्किल विधि हाउ टू फिल दिस गैप द राइट वे टू फिल दिस गैप देर आर टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स वाला मेथड जिसमें कि इसको भरने की जगह मास्किंग सिखाते हैं दैट्स नॉट द राइट वे वॉट इज द राइट वे टू फिल दिस गैप वो जब आपको पता चलेगा तो आपको दो चीज मिल गया कमी क्या है और इस कमी को भरना क्या है अब ये दोनों मिलने से भी नहीं चलेगा ये दूसरा कॉम्पोनेंट है तीसरा कॉम्पोनेंट चाहिए वो है इच्छा शक्ति डिजायर अगर आपके अंदर इस गैप को आइडेंटिफाई करके भरने की विधि भी मिल गया लेकिन भरने की चाहत नहीं है या कंफर्ट जोन से बाहर नहीं जाना चाहते हो यानी आपके अंदर इच्छा शक्ति नहीं है विल टू चेंज नहीं है और अगर विल टू चेंज नहीं है यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू ब्रिंग दिस चेंज विद इन यू सो इस बदलाव को पूरा करने के लिए आपको नॉलेज स्किल एंड डिजायर ये तीनों चाहिए जब इन तीनों का बराबर यू नो ओवरलैप होगा वेन दिस ओवरलैप एग्जिस्ट दैट्स अ टाइम दिस गैप विल स्टार्ट फिलिंग और आपका प्रेजेंट लेवल जो है वो राइज होना शुरू होगा और जब ये प्रेजेंट लेवल राइज होना शुरू हो जाएगा तो नेचुरली आपको पोटेंशियल बढ़ जाएगा एंड पोटेंशियल बढ़ जाएगा तो आपका सेलेक्ट होने की प्रॉबिलिटी भी बहुत ज़्यादा बढ़ जाएगी सो वॉट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज द स्टेज ऑफ एस एस बी का प्रिपरेशन इज दैट प्रिपरेशन आपको प्रिपरेशन में दिशा और गति दोनों ठीक होना चाहिए तभी आपका डिजायर्ड गोल मिलेगा एंड यू नो द सेलेक्शन रेट इन द एस एस बी इज वेरी लो थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट सो इट इज थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट यू नीड टू बी वेरी वेरी एक्यूरेट कि वॉट आर यू डूइंग इन द नेम ऑफ प्रिपरेशन कहीं ऐसा ना हो कि प्रिपरेशन अगर गलत हो गया तो कॉज गलत हो जाएगा तो इफेक्ट गलत हो जाएगा तो प्रिपरेशन दो टाइप से हो सकता है एक तो सही प्रिपरेशन जिसमें कि आपको पता है कि आपके अंदर डेफिशेंसी क्या बहुत इन दी पर्सनैलिटी में डेफिशेंसी एंड टेस्टिंग टूल्स में कहाँ पे कम आ रहे हो और उसको सही तरीके से उसको ब्रिज करो सही स्किल्स के साथ सो दैट द डेफिशेंसी इज ब्रिज नॉट मास्ट एंड सेकेंड इज गलत तरीके से भी कर सकते हो टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स शॉर्टकट टू सक्सेस हाउ टू राइट अमेजिंग स्टोरीज दोज आर मास्किंग सो आपने देखना है कि आप जहाँ से भी ले रहे हो हो सकता है ट्रेनिंग कंफर्टेबल लगे लेकिन सही ना हो हो सकता है ट्रेनिंग बहुत सुनने में अच्छा लगा हो लेकिन सही नहीं हो वो सही है गलत है वो देखना आपका काम है एंड देन दिस इजियर मेथड इज दे जहाँ पे आपको टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स सिखाया जाता बहुत बिकता है ये बट द पॉइंट इज दिस इज नॉट ब्रिजिंग द गैप दिस इज मास्किंग ये मुखौटा लगाया जा रहा है दैट्स वेर यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई कि आपका जो यू नो अप्रोच टू ट्रेनिंग है इज इट ब्रिजिंग द गैप और मास्किंग द गैप सो मुझे इन दोनों में क्या डिफरेंस है बताना ब्रिजिंग द गैप एंड मास्किंग द गैप सो दोबारा एक बार पढ़ता हूँ बिफोर आई विल एक्सपेक्ट यू टू गिव योर फीडबैक बेसिक्स ऑफ ग्रुप टेस्टिंग द ग्रुप टेस्टिंग अटेम्प्स टू इवेल्युएट गणेश बाबू इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ अ ग्रुप and thus to determine ganesh babu's ability to function in a group and based on ganesh babu's functional capacity to ascertain ganesh babu's present or the actual level of performance and potential level of performance and to assess ganesh babu's suitability for the armed forces mujhe zarur batana isse aapko kya samajh mein aaya and iske upar feedback dena and uske upar main fir aur videos banaunga and uh, do share with your friends and thank you and i hope uh, this video has given you some idea about what is the requirement in ssb thank you and uh, we'll see in the subsequent lecture series thank you